Hi, this is Lourdes for HealingCrystals.com. Hi, this is Tara from HealingCrystals.com. Today we'd like to talk to you about different shapes. That's right. And I'd like to start with one of my favorites, the sphere. Okay. And what I like about spheres is that you can use them for healing. You know, you can use them for mm -hmm. massage. Mm -hmm. But they're great on grids because they send general energy out completely in a complete equal direction see that's what i like about spheres is they really like to me the energy that they represent mm -hmm. is kind of an endless infinity kind of energy mm -hmm. i'll be honest though i'm always challenged when i use them in grids because they tend to roll on me <laughs> oh see you know what i did <laughs> mine always like if i put one watch it's gonna roll see it's it, well it's kind of surrounded but it it will it will roll on me so that's that's why i'm i'm sometimes challenged see it's they, they're always, you know, Rolling. sometimes the energy is just kind of taking taking the sphere wherever it wants to be. What I like to do with my spheres is I like to keep them in candle holders. That's a great idea. I actually, I have some, um, what, what I mm -hmm. like to do is I go to like, um, if you go to antique stores or if mm -hmm. you go to um, flea markets, that kind of thing, and you find some of those like old pedestal yes. candle holders, mm -hmm. <gasps> these are wonderful. Um, in those kinds of things. I have them like by my, my, my fireplace and home and everything. That's a great that's, decorating idea. That's that's where I like them. And it kind of like um, the energy just kind of goes throughout my whole house that way. So I, I like that. Great and, idea. and also that's that's a nice way like if you've got space around it to put other crystals around it as well. Well, I like to store them and I get bottle caps. And for the okay. small ones, yeah, you there just you bottle caps mm -hmm. or rings. Mm -hmm. Put them on rings. Mm -hmm. I, I'll do that. And this one, I can't remember. This came with something else, and I just took it for that. But you're right. Yeah. You can store them in many different ways. Be creative with them. Right, right. Now, the other shape I work with a lot are triangles. Or, or pyramids. pyramids. I mean, I tend to Pyram call them pyramids. pyramids but, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, triangles, pyramids. Yeah. This, for me, is excellent for using for directing energy for a specific purpose. Okay. So for third eye, if you have one for the third eye, which is wonderful, and I love mm -hmm. this, you could use this one, the Chris That's my Chris Cole, yeah. On the heart, that would be wonderful for that one. Or if you want, put it, if you're laying down on your bed, put this right behind with the point back up. Okay. Try to, different ways of using them. Don't just think that they have to be physically in one spot. I like to use my pyramids to express gratitude. Oh, okay. Um, for me, that's the kind of energy that they exude. My, my, and this is now I'm sharing something probably nobody wants to hear. But anyway, uh, my own personal belief in the, the whole um, why the pyramids were made in Giza is I believe that if you really look at them, they kind of look like a person in prayer. Okay. And I think that they were meant to express our gratitude to, mm -hmm. you know, the heavens to God to make, or whatever you believe exactly. So, you know, for me, I like to use them to, to, you know, remember how grateful I am for what I have. Even, even when I'm, you know, sad or I'm feeling like, you know, things aren't going my way. I, I like them for that kind of thing. All right. That's, that's a, you know, a totally different way of looking at it. So if you wanted to try it, mm -hmm. that'd be great. A gratitude grid. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you mentioned um, that, that you, you like to use it to... Um, uh, direct. Direct energy. energy. Mm -hmm. See, I, I like the, um, the, towers? the towers for that, to direct energy. That's, to me, the towers are good for directing energy. They're also good for communication. You know, if I want to, if I want to communicate with higher beings, mm -hmm. I like the towers for that. See, and I like the obelisk for that. And where are my obelisks? Here goes one. Because the obelisk, in fact, when they were, one of the words it translates to into the sun is to um, God's rays. Or, well, what's the difference between a tower and an obelisk? Okay. It only has four points. It has the top of a pyramid. Okay. Whereas, see how that has more point? It has more sides. Excuse okay. me. Okay. That has more sides. This only has four. Okay. okay. And that's what it is. For me, they always just have this ancient energy about them. Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. yeah, and yeah I yeah. love obelisks. You know, you know what it is like to me? I think about tower and I think about like phone towers yes. and, mm -hmm. and TV towers. And, and to me, it's just like a communication and energy, like getting getting information and sending information out into the world. So that's what that's what I like my uh, my towers for. Well, uh, something else. Hearts. How can no, we go please, wrong with hearts? You can say, yeah. I, I guess Tara likes hearts. I, I have, have a lot I have of pretty a, ones. I do, I do have a lot of hearts. I really do. I like my hearts. And, and you know, they're, they're, they're all about love. And that's where everything really should start from and end up with is love. So that's that's what I like my hearts for. You know, they're great in the love and relationship corner of your home. Mm -hmm. You know, having two hearts 
next to your bedside if you're in a relationship was great mm -hmm. or if you want to get in a relationship <laughs> try the two hearts there you go you know and try the rose quartz heart i know those oh, are sure. there try yeah yeah rose quartz always you know it works for that mm -hmm. great on the heart chakra mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's wonderful to give to your children yep because they can carry this with them wherever they go let's see what else do we have we've got cubes cubes there's cubes cubes terrific for grounding energy yep mm-hmm if, if you want to ground, try whatever your favorite stone is for grounding right. in a cube. This is jet. I, I really think like it, jet a lot. Think about it like it's, you know, it's, it's hard to, to move a square. When you put it down, it's going to stay there. And that's what grounding is all about is you want to anchor yourself yes. to something. And that's what a square will do for you. Mm -hmm. Which one? How about, want? well, I've also, I also brought um, coins, coins and Kabashan because we have, you know, there, there's, you, you, you end up, if, if you get a lot of crystals, you do end up getting these kinds of crystals. And I think they, they also have their own kind of unique energy mm -hmm. um, that I really like. I, you know, particularly like wearing them, but things like this, these are really nice to lay on yes. you. You know, um, for me, I like a coin energy to kind of um, just just bring in general energy and a cabochon is more directed energy, if you will. If I'm just like, you know, I just feel lousy and I just want to feel better, I might use a coin. If I'm thinking, you know what, I've got like a really bad mm -hmm. headache and I want my, my headache to go away, I would use a cabochon. So it's it's more of a more of an intention based thing with the cabochons for me. But I like the cabochons, like you mentioned, for healing on the body. Mm -hmm. They're also great for wrapping. Mm -hmm. So if you wrap jewelry, the cabochons are great for setting in jewelry. Coins are nice to carry with you. Yes. I keep mm -hmm. mine in my purse. Yeah. Because like you, I have quite a few from Healing Crystals. Mm -hmm. I keep them in my purse and in the change thing in my car, mm -hmm. the change area. Because they are terrific to carry. They're smooth. Yeah. They're easy to place on the chakras. Mm -hmm. So definitely that and the acupressure points. Now, what about skulls? You, I see you've got a skull out there. I have a skull. Mm -hmm. And this one is an onyx skull. Mm -hmm. Skulls are great for working with your ancestors or with past lives. Okay. Also, if you want to do more consciousness work. See, that's that's what I always you thought can about do with that. skulls. Is it's, it's, it's more good for, for intuition, for, mm -hmm. you know, getting in touch with yourself, for, for you know, any kind of cognitive, you know, mm -hmm. cognitive work. Um, and then what other the shape do we want to talk eggs. about? Eggs. Eggs. How can we forget eggs? eggs? Your favorite. I like eggs because eggs represent fertility. Mm -hmm. Rebirth. Rebirth. Eggs are easy to just roll in your hands. Mm -hmm. I know balls are, but for some reason I find eggs a lot easier. They are. They're a more, they're a friendlier shape. And I mean, if you think about it, almost every day is, is a rebirth. You mm -hmm. know, you, you go to bed at night, you wake up, it's a whole new situation. It's, it's, you know. It is. It, they're just... Fabulous. Mm -hmm. They they feel great on acupressure points. Mm -hmm. If you want to work on something, you know, put them on and see how they feel. They're not as sharp as some of the points I'd say in a tower, but they will give you that energetic boost mm -hmm. just the same. Absolutely, absolutely. And then I guess we need to talk about I guess this would be our last one, our angels. Yes. Angels are wonderful. I have a, a Labradorite, which is one of my favorite crystals, and I have this Labradorite angel, and this sits next to my bedside, and just, you know, it, it brings in an angelic energy. It brings in, you know, a, a joyous mm -hmm. kind of, you know, it, it helps me feel connected to everything, you know, to, to not only what's here, mm -hmm. but what's beyond, and it also helps me to feel protected. That's what I really like the angels for, is to help me, you know, feel, feel safe, feel protected. I like them in healing grids. Mm -hmm. I also like them, if you use our cards, I like to place them over our cards for special intention. This one is Moss Agus, so for abundance. Okay. I like a little spiritual help with abundance. Oh, sure. So I use that there. Could always use some spiritual help. And if you have the Rose Quartz card, you can put the Rose Quartz card, put the person's name underneath the card on a piece of paper, and then just do that. Send them some wonderful angelic energy. Absolutely. I, yep. You know what? And those are wonderful. I think the hearts and the angels are like the nicest to give it for gifts. Yeah, the wonderful those gifts. Those are very, very nice, nice. Um, you know, it's it's just, uh, it really shows somebody that you care. Just think, we have Mother's Day coming up, Father's Day coming up, the wedding's coming up. What about for graduations mm -hmm. even? That's you true. know, somebody's going off to college, send them an angel. Send an angel with them, absolutely. Uh, why not? These are nice to travel with too, to yes. keep in your car. Oh, hotel rooms. Hotel right rooms. Right next to your Absolutely. bed. Absolutely. If you have somebody who travels a lot, and angels are yes. wonderful. Wonderful. It's just like a nice presence to mm -hmm. have with you. Always. For HealingCrystals.com, I'm Lourdes. And I'm Tara. Crystal blessings. Bye-bye. <laughs>